Alrighty, welcome back to uh, Sparrow Free, everyone. Uh, so, um, yeah, we talked about how Frozen Altars has a really infamous mini game. So, um, that's why we're not gonna do it right now. I'm gonna go to uh, <laughs> Fireworks Factory instead. Howard. I my ugh. Man. It will come. But not right now. Oh, hello! It's good to see you again, Spywo. That naughty sorceress has stolen the professor's rocket plans, and I'm on a secret mission to find them. Handel was supposed to meet me here, but I can't find him anywhere. Maybe you could help. Yes, yeah, so, uh, yes, Handel and Greta, Handel and Greta are back. Just new voices, I can definitely tell. Yeah. Yeah, and this is the uh, level that got teased at the in the title screen. Um, and yeah, story like. Ninja su secret agent kind of focus and yeah. Get to see uh, how some... come they don't give gems? Hmm? Uh, I have no I idea. Give... Yeah, this is a pretty fun level. has a has a cool little uh, look to it, I suppose, and. Uh... It has some good mini games, I think. They're just respawning. Yeah, that's just like. Oh yeah, I think it's because um, the uh, there's um, what was it box boxes on the top on the top level where they they just respawn out of them, so. Yeah, they're just coming out. They just keep they just keep coming out uh, out of it. Uh. Hey, it's noodles. <laughs> what a name. Hmm. But uh, ninety eight, the year Spyro came out. Yeah. Every twenty eighth, a crazy lizard. Hmm? Happy 20 inch a crazy lizard. Uh huh. Alright, turn on. Oh, I, can I just. Okay, that works. But, um. Yeah, I. I at this point, like, I think we're, like, we're running thin on, like, general, like, commentary about Spyro itself. Let's talk about the delay of a reignited trilogy. Yeah, sure, why not? So, um... Yeah, Spyro got, uh, Reignite Trilogy got delayed to, um, September, and, um... No, no, it's November now. Uh, November, yeah. Uh, it got, it delayed to, it got delayed to November, and, um... I'm honestly okay, uh, with, it, with the delay, because, um, for, for starters, I don't have to rush these playthroughs anymore, and, uh, uh... Like, it, it, I appreciate, like, Activision give, giving them the okay to polish the game up, uh, since, uh, you know, I'd, I'd rather have a finished, a finished game rather than another Enter the Dragonfly or something like that, and, you know, I think Crash and Sparrow deserve good treatment. It would be nice if they also add, like, have, like, use this time to put all the games on the disc instead of just the that, first game, but... Do, do they even have time to do that? How does that work? I don't even... I'm not even sure how that's gonna... how they, um... do that. Because, like... Like, what, does it... Tr uh, getting a Sparrow 2 and 3 on, on the game... On, on your console, like, require a massive patch or something? Like, what what's the deal here? Well, I don't really get it. So, why is there, like, no fodder in this level 4? There was one, like, at the start. Like, the corner to your left. Yeah, your left. 
Ah, uh, maybe draw it. Oh, wow, that thing's gone. Hmm. You killed it once, and I guess it just stayed away. It should, you should usually, like, just spawn back, but... I don't know. We'll, we'll try and... do this without sparks, I guess. Not that it's gonna go well. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not too torn up. Uh, uh, don't you need a, like a missile? Yeah. Uh, I'm not too torn up about the fact that it's, it's getting delayed though, because uh, you know more time and, uh, I mean. What was I trying to say? Uh, I mean, I really, I really, I get, I don't, I really don't care that much in the grand scheme of things. Um, but whoa, you survived. Yeah. 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 The enemies can actually be kind of uh, tricky if you're not careful. So watch it. But you'll have to use this cannon to I don't get know. here. Kind of neutral about the whole thing, As I guess. Me, I just have to free my mind. I feel like I knew I wanted to say something about it, but it's not as... It's, it's lost me. Everyone has game a better jump than Spyro. Look at that, like, geometry just phasing in and out. <laughs> I will say this level is very pretty. Yeah. I do like, I, I kind of like the fact that, uh, I'm mostly 2 and 3, I, I, it, I, I cannot, t like, tell what level, uh, the first game title screen is based off, if it's based on anything, but, uh, um, I do like how 2 and 3's title screens, like, oops, uh, have, um, a feature levels you play later on in the game, and, Kind of gets you, uh, kind of gets you excited to see what it is. So I don't know. I kind of like that. Cool. As a dragonfly started off, where a dragonfly dojo, like tile screen did. Oh yeah, it did. Yeah, it did do that. And you yeah. have uh, sparks just spazzing out. <laughs> I think I asked you this already, but what's your favorite gem design? Gem design? Uh... What, what do you mean? Like, uh, in these games, like, the which color, or...? Like, the shape of the gem and the color. Uh, I... I never really thought about that, to be honest. I kind of... Maybe... Maybe the yellow ones? I guess? I don't know. Oh, there's, a, there's actually another way you can take care of, it, take care of them. Just a TNT barrel that on is, the back. That's disturbing. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna need another rocket, by the way. Good. Uh, what do you think about the delay? Um, provided they take as much time as they need, really. I'm not too bugged about it, I just. Yeah. Like, after I heard the news of the, that only one game would be on disc, I'm kind of like, eh. Yeah. Like, I don't know if it's even, I don't know, I don't know game at all, so I don't know if it's possible to get the game. Uh-oh. Yeah. You have to use this combo power Because I, it, I think it depends on how you much space fly, uh, fly, each game takes up. Uh, because mm. I can imagine, like, Sparrow take, uh, would take up generally just a lot more space than Crashwood, just because of the nature of these games. Uh, hmm. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. Like when I see something like Smash Bros. Ultimate and just seeing how much content is in that one game, it kind of makes me question the whole thing a bit more. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, a lot of games are making a lot of games look like disappointments next time. <laughs> Smash Bros. Ultimate. Like, sounds fanboyish, but it's not entirely wrong. It's hard to compare. It, it's really hard to go, uh, compete against a game with, like, 
uh, like 103 stages uh, plus if you count the alternates. Uh, 900 songs and all these. Like, we haven't even heard anything about anything, well, besides classic, we haven't heard anything about uh, the, the single player modes or like really anything outside of the multiplayer stuff. And just, like, just, just from the stuff we do know, like, it's already crazy packed. <laughs> Nintendo developers are masters of, of com compression. <laughs> Yeah, they know how to like do use the hardware to the to the best uh, they can somehow. Ah uh, yes. Um. Oh yeah, we're fighting a mini boss. Too many bosses. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I I don't remember if the super flame and the super super fly is a uh, permanent here, but um, he like just hmm. Seems like it. Yeah, it's been lost in a while. But uh, basically, you just f kill, uh, fight these two um, dragon head things with the with your super flame, and I think they re I think they reach uh, uh, refill their health um, over time. So you want to be quick about this. But it's not anything too uh, terribly difficult. It's kind of fun just chasing them down and just shooting them, and um, you have some fodder. Down, uh, down in the lower sections, you do take damage, so... Yeah, other than just, that, other than less, that. These bosses are less about the challenge and more just about the spectacle in this case. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice... It, it's, it's just a nice little cathartic uh, side thing, I guess. No, besides that, not much to really say about it. Yeah, we'll say Handel's voice is cuter now than it was in Spyro 2. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I if I can recommend anything about this section is uh, go after one dragon head um, at a time uh, because, like I said before, they they will they will regain their health. So yeah, if you if you keep changing your assault between the dragons. You could have one like just refill their health while you're trying to go for another, and it's just yeah, it's, it it doesn't work out too well if you do it th that way. You can just murder them. Uh, yeah, anything else you got uh, got on the delay or like? Um, I don't know. It's it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. Shame it's missing the anniversary month, but I'd rather it not be. Busted on la at launch. When is it? Uh, what? Uh, what is this like? A anniversary of Spyro or something? Twentieth anniversary of the original game. Okay. Well, at least it's still in the in the year, I suppose. Oh, since uh, we're on like reignited talk here, uh, uh, at the time of this record uh, recording, we've literally just seen. A snippet. Well, most of the one of the first cutscenes in Spyro 2, and um, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, Alora is. I'm a little bit mixed on Alora's design, but I think it looks fine. Uh, and I think the animation's pretty solid overall, all around. I, like, it, it, I think it could pass off as like a Spyro Saturday morning cartoon, honestly. There are so many questions about this. Yeah. Yeah, th this le th this level specifically like just goes by what I was saying about how the these eggs are like really resilient. <laughs> I I also made a joke earlier about the eggs suffering like well basically mental damage from all the trauma they're taking. My apologies for that. No. <laughs> I don't remember that. I, well, I, I guess I implied it, and Jason just said it outright. What I can recall. Yeah, my bad. Oh rip! Man. Well, I mean, the, what the sorceress uh, wants to do with the with the the eggs and the baby dragons is really like sadistic. <laughs> Do 
you want them to be her human toenail clippers, let's just, let's just, <laughs> I know it's a spoiler, but let's just say it. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, but yeah, I, I love the fact that like, it's sort of like everyone has a better jump than uh, Sparrow. <laughs> Cause like without, like it, it, it's like without his uh, Sparrow's glide, uh, uh, he wouldn't really wouldn't really be able to get that uh, very far. And of course, the jump falls off. Yeah, fine. One lousy gem. Yeah. <laughs> You know, some dammit in Sonic was giggling about that. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, what do you think about the uh, cutscene they showed? That's pretty good. <laughs> um, the character models have an oddly plastic look, like pseudo plastic yeah. to look to them. Like, like kind of more plastic than Skylanders themselves, actually. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit. I just I I, I want to see like Ripto uh, in a cutscene because like I, I I need to see that new um that new design in action because I, I, I don't think pictures are really doing it justice enough. Have to take the long way round through all these Winox to get to it. Yeah. Where did that gem go? Oh, okay. Man. I'm pretty sure you can get this guy. Just wait for him to control. Ah, oh, I thought I could... Ah, oh, screw it. <laughs> yeah, he's just gonna turn around, so I just guess go I'll back and he'll start patrolling. Yeah. I'm not- I'm not sure if you get like a- a rocket in this section or, or anything like that. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, th this uh, section has quite a lot of uh, uh, deadly enemies, so... Uh, Why would they build a fireworks factory near lava? How did that count as a hurt- as a hit? Come on. Man. Man, why'd you- <laughs> That is evil! Um... But goodbye, cruel world. For <laughs> one gem? <laughs> like... Like dipping your hand into a piranha... Yeah. A piranha pool for a penny? Pretty much. Yeah, uh, but a good thing that we get, um... Uh, uh, what is it? LP curse now. Uh, so we can use it up. Or use it up for when, uh, when we get to the Bentley boxing uh, thing and just have the reverse. And you die. Yeah, the missiles have like a. They kind of arc down after a while, so you have to like kind of leave your shot. Okay, that was actually impressive. The he just like got me dead on like. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna blow him up. Or I can just miss. Ah. Oh. Wait. I think there's. Yeah, it's fodder. 
There's also enemies. Back flipping into a corner. Yeah. Best ninja ever. Yeah, the ninjas can be kind of annoying to deal with though when they just backflip everywhere. Yeah, that's gonna be. Yeah, no. Wait, did I actually get him? No. It did. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Yeah. wow. Yes, but your best option is usually just to charge the ninjas. Alright, we should be near the end here. Yeah, these enemies remind me a lot of the of the, of the guys from Spyro 1. Like, the... What is that, the machine gun? The machine gun dudes in... Uh, nasties, the nasty levels. Oh uh, yeah. Now we go to gems. <laughs> why? Why do all these baby dragons have buck teeth? <laughs> no, I no idea. Okay. Almost done here, I think. It looks like the sorceress has already used the plans to build her own rocket. We have to destroy it. Just follow me. <laughs> this looks so like weird and Matrix. yeah, the Matrix. Oh, what does that button do? <laughs> Okay, look at look at what happens to the egg here. That is a big egg. Yeah. It somehow doesn't have any scratches or doesn't crack hey, open after that. They must have been like how? Put it into orbit. And somehow, somehow it ends up back here <laughs> because convenience, I guess. If you see Handel, tell him I've gone back to Evening Lake to finish work on the Professor's rocket. Alright. Oh. Put the gems. Did all the work for you. Yeah. Man. It's, it's gonna be f uh, fun to see that in Reignited. Like with, Cause like, it looks a little bit awkward in the these uh, graphics. I go. Oh, I'm missing something. Well, Agent Nine mission has mo has gems, doesn't it? Yeah, but uh, Sparks w uh, wouldn't be uh, pointing towards that. Oh, you, um, that over here. Okay, where are you pointing? Oh, good. Oh, here we go, okay. Ah, oh, we're good. Ooh, okay. Didn't think we were gonna get another cutscene so early. Hello, I thought you might be hungry. Thanks. That could Did literally be chips? anything. <laughs> I'm sorry this happened, but I tried to warn you. I had to help Spyro rescue the eggs. You just don't understand. If we don't bring dragons back to this world soon, all our magic will be lost. The dragons used to live here? Yes. This was their original home. <laughs> but a long, long time ago, the sorceress banished them to the other side of the yeah. world. She didn't realize the dragons were the source of all our magic. Maybe I could convince the dragons to come back, if you let me go. I'm sorry, I can't. Oh. 
Oh, no. <sighs> I only got one thing left to do here. Let's get this. Let's get this abomination over with. I'll give this. I'll, I'll give the. Uh, I'll say this much. The the actual level itself, I think, is. I think is fine. Welcome to Frozen Altar, Spyro. On behalf of the Ice Fairies, I want to grant you a special power for as long as you stay in our world. Yeah, so uh, Spyro 2 uh, in, like, had the one level with an ice power-up gate, uh, uh, and like you had to had to basically uh, freeze, freeze some of those weird flate, those, those weird guys that were like burning up or whatever it was uh, to hit some bells, and uh, in this in this game. You have you have the ice breath for the for a whole level, and it works a similar way as it did in Spyro 2, where if you if you freeze an enemy, they turn into an ice block, and you can actually use that to your advantage for platforming purposes. And I think they do a good job of that in her, in this level. I think it, I think this system to level in terms of just pure platforming and stuff is pretty well done. On. You'd have no trouble using it though. Just walk inside. When you're done, press the triangle button and you'll walk back out. Man. With Tom Kenny, do a smooth jazz album. Yeah, what? Like, what is he like trying to go for with this voice? It sounds so creepy. Now that I'm listening to it, uh, the music's pretty nice as well. I don't really. Uh, uh, pay too much attention to the Spyro soundtracks, like... I can't, I, like, the they're, they're, like, nice to listen to, but, uh, I don't really think, uh, think too, too much about them half the time, but... And I think this truck is nice. Is there a skill point in this level? I don't believe so. As a level, uh, what do you think? I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's just tainted by probably probably the most infamous mini game in the trilogy. Like, it's definitely the most infamous in Sparrow Frey, but it might be the it might be the worst one. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. Oh, you think some? Uh, you think a mini, uh, something else is worse? Alchemy mission by itself is worse. Worse. Mm. Again, mind you, I lucked out on Bentley's mission. Yeah, it's like Bentley's Bentley's uh, mission is just—it's basically down to complete luck if you like get it on your on like your first attempt or your fiftieth attempt. Because uh, when I recorded this with Seasbrain, I was like doing it for like. At least half an hour, I want to say. Uh, Harry, do you remember there's a special um, trick to the bo boxing mission? Yeah, I, I, uh, I know what you. Yeah, like I. Eustace and I were. I've, tr I've tried um, doing the uh, using it, spell. and it kind of. Since then, they've been stomping around building ice. I don't. I don't maybe I'm doing something trouble. wrong, but it kind of just works when it feels like it. I don't know. Killed a giant snowman. And <laughs> you can use the enemy, but he's he's dead now, so I have to use the NPC. There's fun there doing that. Gems on the other side too. Hmm? And there were gems on the other side too. Yeah. So you tried plugging a controller, a second controller for the boss mission. Oh right! Oh that! Oh, I was thinking of another trick. Uh, it might work since you have a native copy of Spear of a Dragon. 
I also have uh, another play, uh, PS uh, DualShock 3 around here, so I can try that. If it, if it if it takes us more than like like what three four attempts, then we'll probably just do that. To do it for getting a skill point at least. Yeah. Because uh, there is a skill point tied to it as well, because they couldn't make it. Uh, yeah, it, it can't. It can't be. Um, like any. Oh, that went by faster than I thought it would. Uh, they can't make it any f uh, forgiving in any way. So like just all the pain. I don't think there's anything over there. No. That platform is suspicious. Well, that flat platform, that's where the egg was. Oh. <laughs> Yellow! Yeah, there's a whole, like, upper section uh, to this level, and... I don't know. It's like, the Spiral 1 and 3's levels have a good, have some good verticality to them, and you gotta, like, just glide to your uh, uh, a lot of platforms and I don't know. I don't know what else I can say about it that I haven't already said. Just good, good platforming, and also fail. <laughs> I like the I like the hues of blue in this level. Yeah, because like uh, snow snow levels uh, tend to use like. Blue and whites a lot. Oh, the guy came back. Yeah, if you try going up to him, uh, if you try like passing him, he will just like throw you away. I think so. Dang it! Those guys are fast. It would be easy to get up to that treasure if he had something to stand on. Hint, hint. Wait, I think there's like gonna be baskets. Or did I already get them? I guess. I guess I did. <laughs> but yeah, they. This one level. This one level alone does honestly. Probably does more with the ice with the ice breath than Enter the Dragonfly does, and that game has it as a as a a, a permanent power up. So uh, yeah. Yeah, we're getting close to it. I I I'm doing it last for the record. Alright, if that's okay, I'm gonna take a brief break. The motion sickness is coming back. Oh, okay. You know what that means? Hiccups! No! Yeah. Oh, we, oh, I, uh, we probably don't have to do too much today because uh, we're almost at the end of this home world anyway. We can probably tackle like a level or two in the, in the fourth one, but... Uh, no, probably not gonna be too long. Depending on uh, how long this this mission takes, anyway. It's right up there. Can you think of like anything in Spyro One that's the equivalent to like Alchemist or Bentley boxing? Some of the flight missions. I I suppose I guess. Uh, hmm. Because I don't, for me, I, I can't really think of too many, like, okay, I'm just failing at killing these guys right now. Uh, I can't really think of too many parts in Spyro 1 that are, like, as frustrating as those two. Maybe treetops, but even then. Oh, gosh. No. Sorry if I have, <laughs> I have some residual trauma from that. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably like the worst it gets to Spyro One. 
But even then, I don't think it reaches the same level as these. Alright, uh... Let's go here first. Spyro, why don't you take this? The Rhinox were trying to fry him with a laser, but you stopped them just in time. Yay! It's like a Tom Kenny voice Sly Cooper. Yeah. Um, what are they supposed to be exactly? Ducks? Uh, I guess some... Some kind of bird. Say, Spyro, you're a sports fan, aren't you? As you probably know, Frozen Altars is the birthplace of the great sport of cat hockey. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of this either. Of course, but I just happen to have a spare ticket that I'll sell you for, say, a teensy weensy marker. Head on in, Spyro. It should be a thrilling match. In fact, <laughs> I've even placed a little wager on the Rhinoc team. Let's just hope the local team doesn't have any last-minute accidents. Wouldn't it have made more sense from the bet on Spyro? <laughs> I challenged a Rhinoc to a traditional game of cat hockey, but I think I sprained my flipper during training. Just, uh, Would you mind taking my place? Money bags is just like, like Great. just freeze the cats worst. and push them into my goal. Uh, well, score. just unironically, like, uh, like just on the not necessarily on the sorceress's side, but like, uh, just just kind of. Just kind of uh, wants to be on the on the the bad side because he's a jerk. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with this. Oh right, I always mess that. Wait. Okay, no, no, no. You got you got the right goal. Okay, I, I was gonna say I always get mixed up with that, but yeah, what you have to do is just kind of get these like weird cat things into the um, into your goal, and the, the this is like. I guess the best way I can describe this is like to the ice hockey in the second game, but the AI is like uh, s like so much more consistent with this, and I always have like the most annoying time trying to get this uh, because like man, you should ask for a rematch. Like he 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 gets like all the fight all. The, the five points like super quickly and there's like no room for error here. Like just like that, I, I even like I froze him at the start and he still got one really quickly. And it doesn't help that they, they bounce around a lot. Now there's no real better way to do this besides just free, uh, freezing them because you're on ice and your mobility is limited by default, and yeah, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this one, to be honest. What do you think? It looks a little well. Ice physics, ice physics won't make anything a little wonky. Yeah. Can I? I wonder if I can like make him lose some. Um... No. Nah, no, take it out. Uh, it doesn't count. That sucks. Wait, what happened? You I think he, I think he just scored another one. I don't think it matters if you push them out or not. Yeah, this is definitely not no Bentley boxing, but it doesn't help that the, this level already has that annoying uh, that in terms of just bad mini games. So this doesn't really help things that much. It's not. I've definitely played worse, but still. Ah, it would have been nice if I got two there. Things were like the Cheshire Cat in a prehistoric era. Yeah, pretty much. Similar kind of design. Okay, he's he's doing pretty badly today, so uh, this time, so right, come on, go in. Yes. Well done. 
I think you deserve to keep the Champion's Cup. Oh, man. But, uh, wait, what? How do you pronounce this? <laughs> but, uh, I like that little fake out. I was like, what? Thankfully, it doesn't have a skill point, so. Wait, with my back, he disappeared. Huh. Yeah. All right, what's left? Uh, what's left is a little platforming section up here. And I believe we get, uh, we find our way to uh, another egg. Oh, we're just done? Let me check. Because I could have sworn there was another egg around here. Yeah, yeah, there's something here. Because like, the boxing only has two eggs, and we need one more. So, uh, I think we, yeah, I think we just had to, like, kind of edge our way across the side. There we go. Ah, oh, man. You ready for hell? Well, I'm not the one playing it, so no. 